Secrecy and lies. Two things that really just get under my skin. Have you ever been around people who try and tell secrets or not tell the full truth? Maybe you walk into the room and everyone tends to sort of hush real quick or say something completely off the wall to make you think that they weren't talking maybe about you or, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. Hey, listen, we've all done it. Every man is a liar, the Bible reveals. Lies between friends, lies in secrecy between family members, lies at work. It seems everywhere you turn, someone is lying. But what if I told you secrecy and lies really have no place among the church? Why? Well, because it's evil. Paul writes to the Colossians and says, do not lie to one another since you put off the old man with its evil practices. That's Colossians chapter 3, verses, verse 9. For many, it may not be drunkenness or sexual sins that they may struggle with the most or may even be drawn to. Rather, it's gossip and lying and this secrecy that breeds and fuels divisiveness. There's no place for that in the body of Christ. But Paul rather reminds us that we have put off the old man. Our old self ought to be gone now as we are new in Christ. Therefore, we're to live in light of that truth. Lying and secrecy, you know, they carry a lot of hurt in them. Hurt within relationships. They hurt yourself and ultimately they hurt the body of Christ. It does nothing but tear down rather than build up. If we're in Christ, we don't have to live in that anymore. We're free and ought to be mature enough to have open and honest relationships with one another, especially among the household of God. Hey, listen, until next time, let brotherly love continue.